Welcome to another video, everyone. My name's Scott McLeod. I upload two videos a week, every Tuesday and every Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. You're not gonna wanna miss any of them, so please subscribe to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to travel with supplements. Coming up next week, and I'm not sure when this is gonna get uploaded, but next week I do have a business trip. I'm gonna be flying out on a Tuesday, returning back to Boston on Friday. So Tuesday, we're traveling over to Spokane, Washington. We're gonna be driving from Spokane to Post Falls. Falls, Idaho, doing some work over there. Then we're gonna be driving all the way over to Wenatchee, Washington. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's just about in the middle of Washington state. Staying a night in Wenatchee, driving up to Chilan, 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 however you say that in Washington, it's about an hour north of Wenatchee. Then driving back over to Spokane, staying another night there, flying back to Boston on Friday morning. So if you don't know by now, I was traveling a whole lot for my job prior to the world ending on us. And thankfully, things are getting back to normal. So we're heading out on more business trips and I've never been more excited. I can't wait to get out there. I love the travel. I love the challenge. I love how it's a little bit of organized chaos, get dropped off somewhere, pick up the rental car, find some food, find a gym, find the hotel, find the site that I'll be working at. So I do also enjoy that aspect of the organized chaos, if you will. I do have a video on how to stay on track while you travel and hit your macros. Please go check that one out. But in this one, like I mentioned, Mentioned, we're going to be talking about supplements while we travel. So I have all of my supplements that I'm going to need while I'm traveling laid out here on the table. I do already have a video up on all of the supplements that I take and why I take those supplements. So I'm not going to be covering that right here right now. If you want to know everything that I take and why I take it, please go check out that video titled something along the lines of all of the supplements that I take, everything that I take, something along those lines. But in this video, I just want to show you how we can travel with these supplements and how they're going to become useful for me while I'm on the road. So with me, like I mentioned, all the supplements laid out. I do have a bunch of Ziploc baggies here, some more over here. Don't worry. I do reuse these Ziploc baggies until they become too worn out. Going to keep reusing them until it's time to replace them. So I don't hate the planet that much. But depending on how much you hate the planet, use as many plastic bags as you like. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I like to reuse them. You certainly can do that as well. Now, I also also have with me my Alphalete backpack. This is the Voyager Pro backpack. This thing is amazing. It has a nice clean sleek look. It's getting the job done for me. I didn't have a good working backpack beforehand and I like Alphalete's clothes. I saw that they had this backpack up on the site and it was a reasonable price. So this is the Voyager Pro backpack, Alphalete Athletics. Shout out Christian Guzman. Shout out Alphalete. This thing really getting the job done for me. I did actually take it to the beach this past weekend and I got a comp compliment on it. So it's not just me who likes this backpack. It is turning some heads for lack of a better phrase, especially when I was bringing it out there on the beach. So we're going to get these supplements into the Ziploc bags, then drop it into the Alpha Elite backpack. Figured I'd be a little bit proactive. My work trip's not until next week. And I've also been meaning to film this video. I know I have some questions in the comment section about traveling with supplements. So here we go. We're going to start on over here with the protein. I should have mentioned that I'll be gone Tuesday to Friday. So we're going to be working out Tuesday when we land in Spokane, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's a travel day. So I'll be traveling back to Boston. As soon as I land in Boston, I can come back here and go to the gym here. So I'll have protein accessible here in the apartment. So I'm not going to need to pack protein for Friday's workout because we're going to be working out back here. A bag for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday's workout. I could also just bring some extra protein just to be safe to make sure we're hitting our protein requirements each day. And I'm probably going to do that. It doesn't hurt. It's going to fit into my bag. And I would be resting assured that I have this extra bag of protein with me just in case I'm running low on protein one of the days. You never know when you're out there on the road. So what I do is it's pretty basic stuff. Take one of the Ziploc bags, come in here. This is the fruit cereal whey MTS nutrition. This stuff tastes amazing. Go get your own at tigerfitness.com. But what we're going to do is we're going to toss a scoop into the bag here. And when I travel, I like to do about a scoop and a half. You don't know when you're out there on the road what your meals are going to be looking like. Just about a scoop and a half into the bag. I do also take five grams of Creapure creatine right into the protein shake. Instead of wasting another bag, we're just going to take a scoop of creatine here and toss it right in with the protein. Just 
about got the protein finished up. I like to zip the bag up a little bit, squeeze the air out of the bag, seal the rest of the bag so it's pretty airtight. It's not all puffed up and filled with air. It's not gonna take up too much space in the backpack. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All squared away on my protein powder. You could, if you would like to, get a bigger Ziploc bag to contain all of them and zip it all up. I like to just hold them all like this, roll them all nice and tight, and there's all the protein powder that I'm gonna need for this trip. Moving on from the protein, we're gonna be doing the ruckus pre-workout. So workout Tuesday once we land, workout Wednesday, workout Thursday. We're gonna be coming back to Boston for our Friday workout. So just Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday pre-workout. Got three little bags here. Same rules apply, gonna start dumping it into these bags. So personally, I like to take a nice big heaping scoop of ruckus right there. So it's a little bit more than a scoop, I'm aware. I'm all about the pre-workout. Like I said, I have a video on all the supplements that I take, outlining the reasons why I take my supplements. Pre-workout is a staple supplement for me. Get all jazzed up for the workout, it allows me to go harder each and every time, get better than last time, progressive overload. That's the name of the game. So, three little bags. Oh my God, I'm making a huge mess. Three little bags of pre-workout here. And I do the same thing, zip it up a little bit, squeeze the air out, zip it up the rest. So it's pretty airtight. There's one Tuesday's workout. Here's two Wednesday's workout. Here's three Thursday's workout. You can also line them all up like this, roll them up. Nice and tight, nice and compact, right over here next to the protein. So we got our protein and our pre-workout. Just a reminder, the creatine is in there with the protein. This begs the question, what does this look like going through security? I've been with my current company approaching four years now. It's actually crazy to think of that. Time is flying. Almost four years now, that's absolutely wild. For all of those years, except for the past year, because the world kind of shut down on us a little bit, if you know what I mean, I was traveling around 70 to 80% of the time all of the other years. And travel's starting to pick back up, so hopefully we're right back into the swing of things. Over the course of that time, I've taken hundreds, if not not thousands of flights all over the country. And over the course of that time and all of those trips, there was just one, just one time that I got stopped in security and they actually had to go in and test my protein powder. Back then I was mixing in an agmatine supplement that I got for free. So I mixed agmatine, creatine, protein powder, and I guess it flagged something going through security. And just that one time they had to call a guy in who came from out of the back somewhere. He brought out a little testing kit. They had to do an extra pat down on me, test my protein. The guy was real chill about it. It did just take a little bit of extra time, but I wasn't stressing out because I give myself plenty of time. I consider myself pretty organized, pretty on time, if not early. So I was trying to be a good traveler, you know, give myself plenty of time, no need to stress. I made it to the gate with time to spare. It was just a weird occurrence where they had to come out and test it. So that was just one time, keep in mind, out of hundreds if not thousands of flights. I do this every single time I travel. I want my supplements with me. I'm staying on track. I'm hitting the gym, hitting my macros, getting my supplements in. I'm gonna fly out with this stuff. That's what I like to do. I'm gonna do it this way each and every time unless of course someone presents a better method. This is working for me, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep in mind, it was just that one time that I got stopped. So now we're gonna bring our attention on over here to the health supplements. Some melatonin, some fish oil, some zinc, a one-a-day multivitamin, vitamin D3. Again, I've explained all of this in a video titled Everything That I Take, Why I Take These Supplements. Please go check that one out if you want to know the reasons why. What we're going to be doing is, I'll dump some of this out on the table here. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it based on the camera angle. I'll be sure to hold it up if you can't. But we dumped out one multivitamin. I take three of these MTS Nutrition fish oils per day. So we'll put three down next to the multivitamin there. I do take 6,000 IUs of vitamin D3 per day. These are 2,000 IU soft gels. So three of those, one, two, three, down on the table next to the multi, the fish oil. Now we got the D3 down there. Take one of these zinc tablets, 50 milligrams down there. And Tuesday night, we're gonna need 
two of these melatonins. So that's 10 milligrams of melatonin. So that's everything for Tuesday. We fly out Tuesday. We land in Spokane, Washington on Tuesday. Three fish oil into this snack size bag. One multivitamin, almost dropped it. Three vitamin D3, zinc. Oh, I did drop that one. Zinc in there two of these melatonins. So this is everything that I'll need for Tuesday. Again, get the air out of it, nice and airtight. You can roll that up nice and tight, nice and small. It's not gonna take up too much space. I'm gonna repeat those steps. We did Tuesday. We're gonna do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <music> pills Wednesday Thursday Friday we obviously don't need the melatonin Friday night so just Tuesday night Wednesday night Thursday night while we're on the road because again I'll be back here Friday take my melatonin right from the cabinet don't need it in the Ziploc bag I'll be taking the vitamin mix sometime during that travel day in the morning when I'm getting on the flight or eating some breakfast having some snacks whatever the case may be so we're at least bringing the vitamin part for Friday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday all right here got the air out as best as possible Gonna roll them up nice and tight, and it shouldn't take up too much space. So we got everything right here. Pre-workout, the vitamins, the protein powder. This is what I've done. This is what's worked for me. Again, I only got stopped that one rare time. I was actually in Boston getting on the first flight to wherever the heck I was going when they had to test the protein, but I've taken hundreds, if not thousands of flights, connecting flights, all different types of travel, and I just got stopped that one time. And it wasn't that big of a deal. They just tested it sent me on my way so what i lost like a pinch of protein a, a gram of protein not even at that point a minute amount of the powder so you could just test it not a huge deal just a little bit of time in the voyager backpack tons of different compartments i just take the multivitamins stuff them in a pocket right up near the top because i'm always grabbing these each and every morning the protein could go down in one of these front pockets, down a little bit deeper, nice and compact in there, and the pre-workout, probably right up here at the top in this smaller pocket with the vitamins. Again, if you're in the market for a backpack, I don't make any money on this. This is just me giving you all the tips and tricks. These are the supplements that I travel with. This is the backpack that I use, this Alpha Elite Voyager Pro backpack in black. Things nice and clean, nice sleek look. Has a nice laptop pocket in the back here. Tons of different pockets for my supplements, my protein bars. This is just what I do. You can do whatever you want to do. This is what works for me. I was proactive here. I'm not traveling until next week, but I got the bag squared away with at least my supplements. And I was able to to get a video filmed for all of you. I've been meaning to show you how you can all travel with supplements. This is what has worked for me. I know there was a comment on one of my videos. I think it was the Rumble in the Burrow vlog about traveling with supplements. One of my travel videos. I've been meaning to film this. I was proactive. We're ready to go for our work trip. And that's where this video ends. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful at all, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, I drop two videos a week, every Tuesday and every Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Don't miss them. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have all of you along here with me for this entire YouTube journey. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.